Shalom. Call Halayimla. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem. Kadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, Is There Salvation for the Gentiles? Gentiles simply mean nations. And we know that the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are scattered into all nations. However, the Most High has not changed his promise to Israel. Bloodline descendants, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. Now you do have tares intermingled amongst Israel. And these tares look like Israelites, but their forefathers go back to the heathen and Gentile nations. So Gentile means nations. But the promises are only to Israel, starting with the elect. Has little to nothing to do with what you look like. Let's go into Bible, Bible prophecy. Well, the true, one moment, <clears throat> the true prophets focus on Bible prophecy. Not your tap dancing pastor. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 31. For when ye offer your gifts and ye make your sons to pass through the fire, ye pollute yourselves with all your idols, even unto this day. And shall I be inquired of by you, O house of Israel? As I live, saith the Lord power, I will not be inquired of by you. Well, these prophecies will go forth. Israel fell off for idolatry, witchcraft, iniquity. Let's keep going. So we have to focus and meditate daily on prophecy and search the scriptures. <clears throat> Book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 32. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all. That, ye say, we will be as the heathen. We what? We will be as the heathen as the families of the countries to serve wood and stone. See? So we are as the heathen. That means we're worshiping idols. We're eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster. So we are as the heathen. <clears throat> and we're intermingled with the heathen. Scattered into all nations. Let's go back. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 20, verse 32. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all, that ye say, we will be as the heathen, as the families of the countries, to serve wood and stone. We're worshiping the Kaaba stone, Islam, the wooden cross, false Christianity. Or worshiping fake white man Jebus. See? You pollute yourselves with idols even unto this day. Let's keep going. The Most High will cast us out of his sight, out of the Holy Land, where we will be scattered and serve those that hate us. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Look at Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue.
from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. For we're serving Edomites, Ishmaelites, Elam, Elamites. We're serving enemies of Israel, heathen and Gentile nations. We're suing the Psalms 83. So we were cut off from our heritage. And that heritage starts with the Holy Land. And it also includes this true doctrine. But you got to have the worships to go with the Holy Land. So we went against following the true power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So we were cast out of the land. And you can also read about this in 2 Kings chapter 17, I believe. Let's read it again. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. But ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. And if you're catching this through the Spirit, even Jeremiah in his reincarnation, was cut off from knowing that he's an Israelite. You can't miss that. And thou, even thyself. So Jeremiah, when he would come back in the third and fourth generation, would not know his heritage and would be calling himself a Gentile. Black, Indian, Negro, Puerto Rican, Dominican, so well, this is applies, this pertains to and applies to the Israelites. Let's go to Ezekiel 11, verse 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen. Let's read that again. Ezekiel 11, verse 16. Therefore, say, thus saith the Lord power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I even will gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered. And I will give you the land of Israel. Well, this is talking about a dispersed people, the Israelites, scattered into all nations. Let's go to 2 Timothy 11. First, let's go here to Matthew 10. Let's see what the boss says. Our Lord of Lords and king of kings. Yahawashai Hamashiach. The book of Matthew chapter 10. Verse 5. These twelve. Yahawashai sent forth. And commanded them saying. Go not. Into the way of the Gentiles. And into any city. Of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. So he's telling them don't go. Into the way of the Gentiles. Because that area was occupied by heathen, primarily Assyrians. And you also had Hamites occupying the area. So the boss, Yahweh Shai, is giving a command, which makes it a what? A commandment. Matthew 10, verse 5. These twelve, Yahweh Shai, sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Well, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, which match that matches 
Revelations 21, verse 12. Let's see what Paul says. Let's go to 2 Timothy 1. So Paul was anointed to teach the Gentiles. Is he going to go against what Yahushua said? Absolutely not. So these are Israelites scattered that went off or that fell off and that were calling themselves Gentiles that fell off due to idolatry. Second Peter, excuse me, Second Timothy 1 verse 11, wherein two, I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles. So he's not going to go against the boss, Yahweh Shai, Amashiach. He's going against, let's see, book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Wherefore, remember that ye, being in times past, Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. We committed idolatry, fell off, and were scattered and cast out of the sight of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Verse 12, Ephesians 2, verse 12, that at that time ye were without Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without the most high in the world. But now in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. See, on Matthew 15 and 24, he says, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 12, verse 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 2. Ye know that ye were Gentiles, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So we went off and started acting like the heathen and Gentiles. What is that? <clears throat> Let's go into that word Gentile. Comes from the Greek. Strong's G, 1484, ethnos. Ethnos. See? So we fell off because of idolatry. Look at that. Foreign nations not worshiping the true power. Pagan. See? So that's the context. Let's go to Isaiah 60. So this is talking about Gentiles. Israelites that are scattered calling themselves Gentiles. That became like the heathen. See, look at this. Look at the title here. A glorified Zion. The book of Isaiah chapter 60. Verse 1, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. The Most High is only dealing with Israel, starting with the elect. Or this Holy Spirit is shining light on the elect. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. And his gent... Uh, Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Well, this is Israelites that are scattered, calling themselves Gentiles. So the light is shining upon the elect of Israel. See, right here in Ecclesiastes chapter 8, 
who is as the wise man and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing. A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Call her light and light. How about Shem Yavashai? By Shem Rekakadash. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala in the Bible. Shalom. Rock a thumb.